right, 45 Super versus 44 Magnum. As promised, heavier bullet weights with the same bullets. And what we have for our 45 Super is a 230 grain XTP. And with our 44 Mag, a 240 grain XTP. Now, a lot of people are going to say, 45 Super, that doesn't equal 44 Mag. Well, no, it doesn't. But you have to understand, this is a 5 inch pistol. In comparison in size, this is a 4 and a quarter inch revolver. These are about as big as you would carry realistically for protection especially concealed carry so this is a realistic load i would carry in 44 mag as a lower recoil load i would not go above that in this gun 45 super i probably would carry that in that particular glock here glock 41 so i think this will be a pretty even fair comparison in some respects so it'll be an interesting test to see what we get between 45 super and 44 magnum with you know typical bullet weights so we're going to go through the chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time then i'm going to do my 10 percent clear ballistic test four layers of denim followed by three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting a pectoral muscle followed by a quarter inch mdf medium density fiber port to represent hitting ribs or sternum into more clear ballistics we'll do a shot with the mdf and we'll pull it out and we'll do a shot without it you know because with it it's like ribs or sternum without it it's like a gut shot then I'm going to do my practical accuracy drill from 25 yards, see what kind of practical accuracy we can get. So let's get started with this test. All right, first up, we have our 44 mag. I don't know the rate of velocity through a four inch barrel, but they are showing 1350 feet per second, probably six inch barrel. I'm not really sure. So 240 grain, 44 mag. Let's see what we get. Volvo one. Wow. The glove got stuck in the trigger of this thing, which has not happened yet with those gloves. Keep going. All 46. All 68. All 27. All 52. Lower recoil? I don't think so. Let's see how our 45 Super compares. All right, 45 Super, 230 grain, rated at 1,100 feet per second. Let's see what we get through our 5.3 inch Glock here. 11.45, a little bit of a jam there. 11.32. Chamber is empty. 1095. Ain't liking this ammo. 1126. Ain't feeding. 1114. So it's probably my springs. Um, I'll switch out to the lighter spring, the factory spring, see if that helps for the remaining of this video. But pretty good velocity. So let's hit our ballistics gel block and see what we get with these rounds. All right, first up we have our 44 Magnum, our 240 grain XTP through our four layers of denim, three inches of clear ballistics, quarter inch MDF and the more clear ballistics. We'll see what we get with this round. And it looks like it passed out. I knew it was going to do that. Seems like no matter how much I hold center with this gun, it just always shoots off to the left. Uh, so let me try again. I'm just gonna have to aim center of the block. See what we get. All right. All right, so what we got through our MDF is we definitely have some moderate expansion. Um, good damage. And we stopped at about 22 and a quarter inches penetration. So that's actually not as much penetration as I would have expected. However, that, that does have the MDF in it. So let's do it without the MDF, see how that compares. All right, no MDF, just our gut shot. Let's see how the 44 Magnum does. No MDF in place.
All right, so instead of that 20, I say 22 and a quarter, we're looking at about 24 and a quarter, you know, about our classic two inch difference we often see between MDF and no MDF. Uh, and with the XTP, we can definitely see here that that is just um, a gradual damage dump through there. Definitely a good round for hunting and stuff like that. As far as self-defense, I'm not really sure. Let's try a 45 Super, see how that does. All uh, right, 45 Super, I put the stock spring back in. Let's see if that helps at all with the reliability. But we're gonna go through our MDF with our 45 Super. Let's see how it does. All right. So that's interesting. It did feed fine with that shot through an MDF here. It's about the same as that 44. We just get kind of a moderate expansion going on. Um, we'll put this back up in place for our quote unquote gut shot. We'll take a look here at what we got. And what we got is, I'd say better, about 15 and a quarter inches. Pretty good expansion. So let's do it without our MDF, just our gut shot, see how that compares. All right, no MDF, just our gut shot. 45, super. See how it does. Continue to be reliable with that shot too. So, instead of that, you know, 15 and a quarter, we're looking at about uh, 17 inches. That's not bad at all. And the expansion, again, just looks really big compared to that 44 Magnum. That's really good expansion for an XTP. So, let's shoot from that 25 yards. We'll see if that reliability can continue with the 45 Super with that stock 17 pound spring. So let's shoot from 25 yards. All right, 25 yards, 44 mag, 240 grain. We'll see how this will do. Full size steel silhouette. Case ejection is terrible as normal with this gun. <laughs> Reload here. Keep going with it. All right, let's. <laughs> that'll stay up without falling off. Let's try our 45 Super. All right, 45 Super, 25 yards, 17 pound spring. Let's see how it does. You there. Double feed. drop <laughs> that's all <laughs> so i don't know what it is with this glock pistol it seems like no matter what i've done to it it's not been a good pistol even when i had it in stock configuration sometimes i had some mags dropping got a lower <laughs> mag release i moved it to the other side even because sometimes when i do kind of a revolver hold will push on it well it's not pushing out there not touching it with my trigger finger because the way i, I shoot um, I don't know, this gun just doesn't like me. Uh, but overall, our ballistic performance, and that's what we're, we're looking at. We're not looking at this, so stop talking about this. We're looking at, this is about a five inch barrel. Ballistic performance is excellent with it. That 44 mag, whoa. Lower recoil. Um, I guess if you were talking a 500 magnum in a gun that size, yeah, it's lower recoil, but it is not lower recoil 
than 44 Magnum in general. In fact, most of the 240 grain rounds I, I shoot in that gun, target ammo or just run of the mill like Federal Hydroshock, stuff like that, has quite a bit less felt recoil than that lower recoil Buffalo bore stuff. So I don't know where they get that name. Um, now our last test with the 180 grain, that was low recoil. That felt about like a 357 Magnum. This feels like a 44 Magnum plus P, it feels awful. It is not lower recoil, but overall our ballistic performance is about what you would expect with that 44 Magnum. Way too much penetration, um, but a good penetrator. And with the 45 Super, better than 45 ACP by a long shot because a 230 grain 45 AC, ACP, XTP, forget about it. That thing ain't gonna expand. So. Overall, really good performance at the 45 Super. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.